Roland should not be this confusing. This panel presents us a paradoxical mathematical problem that works even though it doesn't make much sense at first look. So when you use two identical coins and make one rotate around the other one without slipping, it will take two rotations to come back to its starting position even though they have the same circumference. This is no easy thing to deal with. SAT got this concept wrong in the 80s. Internet forums got interested some time after that, and a popular YouTuber made it famous years ago. Everyone of course can try and verify it themselves, but what is the explanation behind it? Now if the circumference of this coin is approximately 15 centimeters, and we got a straight ribbon that's also 15 centimeters, when rolling this coin over it, it will take one revolution to cover it. Makes sense. But if we took two identical coins and rolled one over the other, it would take two revolutions. Approaching from a similar perspective, I will do experimentations to get some insight. I will take coins and roll them on other coins that are double and triple their circumference, and I will also roll the same coins on straight lines that represent that circumference. What do you notice after all of that? Some of you got it already, because it seems there is a plus one rule between rolling on a straight line and on a circle. Rolling a coin over a straight line will make X rotations, but if we make that straight line into a circle and roll the coin outside of it, it will make X plus one rotations. So where does this plus one come from? The easiest way to explain it is to consider two types of rotation. Number one, the rotation of the coin around the center of the second coin. Number two, the rotation of the coin on its own center. When the rolling coin completes one full circuit, it would have moved 360 degrees around the fixed coin, but it has actually rotated 720 degrees or two full rotations around its own center. A matter of perspective if you might. Something that is not the case with a straight line because the coin only needs to rotate to maintain rolling contact with the surface, but when rolling around another coin, there is an additional rotation needed because the path itself is curved, meaning that to find out the number of rotations a circle makes when revolving around another one, we need to find the ratio of the circumferences and then add one to the equation. On a similar note, this reminds me of the sidereal year. A solar year is the time it takes Earth to travel its full orbit, until the sun appears to be in the same spot when we started, while a sidereal year is the time it takes for the stars to appear at the same spot in the sky, which sounds like the same thing, except the sun appears to move relative to background stars, and that makes the sidereal year about 20 minutes longer. Perspective. 